Hello and welcome to this training session on data stage. Today we are going to look at some of the development and debug stages in data stage. Now we have already looked at the row generator stage that is one of the most powerful debug and development stage that can help us to generate some dummy data by specifying the column metadata and the number of records and we can set in some type of values that we want for our dummy data. Now today we are going to discuss some other development in debug stages like the head and tail stages. So let's just drag and drop these stages to our job window and see how they work. Now let's take a head stage first. Now this is a head stage. Let's take an output link out of this. Now I've already defined my sequential file stage to point to the temp test country .txt file. We have four records in this sequential file. Now let's double click at the head stage and see what are the properties available to us. The properties is all rows after skip falls. So this simply specifies whether you want to copy all rows to the output if following any skip positioning that has been defined. Number of rows per partition. How many rows do I want per partition to be uh, put in the output? Now I know that there are two partitions. I want just one record to be output per partition. So to in total, I'm expecting two records to be in the output. What are the other additional properties available to me? Period per partition. What is period per partition? So this will period this. You can define the period here. So every nth row per partition uh, per partition will be copied to the output every nth row you can define what is that n over here what are the other options skip per partition so this will define how many number of rows needed uh, do you want to skip at the start of every partition how many number of record records do you want to skip so you can define the skip so these are optional properties you can either define them or you can just remove them then what are the partitions? All partitions too, do you want to output from all partitions or you want to output from any uh, specific partition? If you say false, then it will ask you for the partition number. So you have to specify your partition number 0 or 1. So we want it from all partitions, we will say true, okay. So as the name suggests, this is a head stage. So head stage, it will take some records from the top. You have an option to skip the records. You have an option to uh, define a period. So every nth record, you have an option to do that. So simple options that you can define and how many records you want in the output. My input is already defined. I do not need to partition. There is no key based operation that is taking place. Output, I simply need to map my records. So let me map my records as it is. I do not need to perform any other function on this. Let's say OK. Now let's connect to uh, this output stage to a data set. Let's go to the file category over here and take a data set and connect it over here. Let me give a file name and path name for the data set. So this is going to be temp yes test head dot ds. I have my columns already defined here. Okay, let me just say okay. Let me compile this job. Yes. And I'll compile this job, then run this job, and I am expecting two records in the output because I have mentioned the partition, the number of records per partition as one. And since I have two partitions, I'm expecting now two records in the output. So now the job is compiled. Let's run the job. Okay, let's run this job. So the job is getting executed. And now it has finished execution and we can see that the, from the source four records were read but in the output only two records have gone. And that is what we expected because we defined one record per partition. So this is how you can use a head stage to sample some data. So this is again a debug stage. You just want some sampling of the data and do not want to read all that data if you have huge data. You can define some sample records to be read and perform your data testing. Now there's a similar stage called the tail stage. So let's look at that as well. So if there's a tail stage, let me take the input from here. Let me just drag out an output. 
and let's double click on the tail stage and see what are the options number of rows per partition that is the option how many number of rows you want from input to output per partition all partitions you want from it from all partitions or no so you don't have uh, any properties here for the tail stage you don't have properties of skipping the number of records or defining a partition uh, end record or all those properties are not available here so input output just drag and draw the so simple properties a very simple uh, stage tail would be a very simple stage you just need to define your go to the stage just need to define how many rows you want per out per partition and define whether you want it from all partitions or not let's see if any you know, available properties are here so this is very simple you just don't need to define anything much you just can just connect it to your output data set and execute this job so again this is also debug stage again use for sampling the record you do not want to run it on the huge amount of data that you have in your source data file you just want some sample records out of it out of it so there's a way when you want to be more specific use the head stage and define which records at which position do you want from the top or just define a tail stage and so select the number of records that you want from each partition or some particular partition so this is how you can use the head and tail uh, stages for data sampling and for debugging purposes for your data stage job this is the end of this video thank you for watching